Unit 3, Sport. In this lesson you're going to learn about and talk about lots of different sports. You get to write a clue for a secret sport for somebody to guess. And first you get to listen to some sports commentaries. So can you listen to this and just write down the name of each sport? Cole is flying down the wing. He whips the ball into the box. A lovely one-two between the strikers. Wilson smashes the ball past the keeper into the top corner of the net. Goal! An excellent volley wins in the game, set and match. The new Wimbledon champion is waiting at the net to shake hands with his opponent after a thrilling match, which ends 6-2, 6-4, 6-2. He picks up the ball from the scrum and passes it back to his teammate. He runs with the ball and leaps over the line. It's a try. Now let's see if Henderson can convert it. After a wonderful drive, he steps up to the green to put the ball. This could be a birdie if he gets it in the hole with this shot. Running up to the crease and bowls a fine ball straight at the wicket. The batsman takes a swing but misses and he's out. The umpire has signaled the next batsman to come onto the pitch. He just needs to pop the final black to score a maximum break. He pulls his cue back as he lines up the black with his left hand on the table and it's in. They all dive in with a lot of splashing. Three of them get off to a good start, but Phillips is edging into the lead with a wonderful butterfly stroke, and is the winner! Here come the Hawthorns, he's dribbling the ball over the halfway line, passes the ball to Morgan, he goes for a three-pointer from downtown, and it's in! Puts up his guard as he takes the right hook, but then he jabs with his left and right. What a great first round with each opponent going for a knockout. Did you get them all? If not, then just rewind the video and listen again. Unit three is sport. So can you do number one first, which is yes or no? You've got 18 questions and you just have to answer yes or no to each one. Then number two is vocabulary. You have nine clues for different words, and you need to fill them in, and then it will reveal the sport down the middle, starting with B. Number three is a speaking activity for your lesson, so just prepare by answering the 12 questions and taking notes, and then you'll talk about that in the lesson. Number four is a quick reading activity. So you've got two people who have written about different sports, you need to fill in the five blanks and then work out what the sport is. Then for number seven, you need to write a clue for a sport in a similar way to number four. So you have two examples and you need to use those examples to write about a different sport, but keep the sport a secret. Then going back to number five, the word box, you need to find the three words for each question in that box. Number six is the odd one out. So you have four words for each one. Number one is already finished as an example. So you have throw, kick, catch and bowl. Throw, catch and bowl are with your hands and kick is with your feet. So that's the odd one out, the different one. So can you have a look at the other five and pick the one that's different and then in your lesson you will say why it is different. Then number seven, in your lesson, you can read your clue and the teacher will guess what sport it is. And then finally, number eight is a grammar activity with some mistakes. So you need to decide if the sentence is correct and then you have finished, you just tick it's correct. Or if it is not correct, you need to find the mistake and correct it. 
and then you'll go through that in your lesson to make sure that you got all of the mistakes. Then if you turn the paper over back onto the front, then from the speaking activity, number three, question nine is which two sports would you mix together? So can you prepare some rules and how you win and why it would be popular for a new sport where you mix together two existing sports? For example, boxing and chess has been mixed to make boxing chess, which is taking one very mental sport and one very physical violent sport and they mix them together. So you do one round of boxing and one round of playing chess. So can you think of two sports that you can put together for a brand new sport and then you can present it and talk about it in your lesson? Can you also have a look at these different sports or hobbies and put them into the category of sport or hobby? But first, you need to think about what makes it a sport or a hobby. So maybe it must be physical. Maybe it needs other people, like a team sport. Maybe you need to achieve something or win a competition, or it needs to be competitive. What's the difference between a sport and a hobby? I hope you enjoyed the sports lesson. Hopefully you've learned some different things about sports and how to talk about it in English.